All right, so what I want to talk to you about today is the fact that GPT-5, the new language model from ChatGPT, is available in seowriting.ai. And so what I want to do is create some articles using this new language model, take a look at those articles, look at their on-page SEO, and apparently the new GPT-5 language model is a big leap in the quality of the writing that it can produce. And the one thing that really looked interesting to me was the fact that the writing that it produces now is supposed to be more factual. Niches like finance and medical and health and wellness niches, you really want to make sure that you're being as factual as possible when you're giving people advice in those areas. I'm going to open up SEO writing. And the first thing I want to do is create an article and show you where you choose this language model. Now, for some of you that are longtime SEO writing users, feel free to jump ahead in this video and get right to the meat and potatoes, which is the finalized articles. But for now, in case you haven't seen SEO writing and you want to understand more about where to find the language model when you're creating an article, you'll want to watch this. And so here we are in the one-click blog post, and you need to put in a main keyword. In this case, I have an article I want to write, should I buy a hybrid or gas car? Let's generate a title. Now, the very first thing that you want to do is go over to this section called AI model. And the reason I would do that is in seowriting.ai, GPT-5 comes with real-time search engine results pages, which means instead of taking a tool like Neuron Writer or Surfer SEO and having it create a whole bunch of different keywords that you want to have placed in this article and grabbing them from an additional tool like that, in this case, you don't need to do that. And when you use any of the language models in SEO writing with the real-time SERP feature, what you're going to end up seeing is the article type is grayed out. It's going to create the article type based on the search engine results pages. It's going to also determine the article size based on the search engine results pages. You do have to do a few things. You have to pick a tone of voice. This is an informational article, so I'll go with informational point of view. I'm just going to do third person. Notice text readability and AI content cleaning aren't available. Now, one other thing I wanted to mention is in the default section here, you could have picked GPT-5 mini plus GPT-5. Now, this is a lighter weight version of GPT-5. I would prefer to use the GPT-5 with real-time SERP rather than a hybrid of GPT-5 Mini and GPT-5. We're not going to be concerned with brand voice. We're not going to include anything here in this details to include section. I'm going to go ahead, just let it pick a couple of images, put those in. And again, YouTube videos, I'll let it pick one. SEO. This is grayed out, right? We don't need to worry about that because it's going to go out and it's going to find the right keywords based on the search engine results pages for the keyword that we're focusing on. From a structure standpoint, you could do a lot of different things to try to hook people into reading the article a little deeper beyond the introduction. In this case, I'll just go with a statistic or a fact. I'm gonna use conclusions, tables, H3s, lists, I'm not going to use any quotes. I'm going to say no to that. I'll say yes to key takeaways. Sure, we'll add an FAQ at the end. Internal linking. If you've never used seowriting.ai before, there's a way that you can hook up your website to seowriting.ai, especially if you're a WordPress user, and then it's going to go through and it's going to find places to naturally include internal links in this case, I'm just going to say none. I'm not a WordPress user, so I don't need to worry about this. External linking, sure, I want to have some automatic external links. I'll just go with the one to two links. Now connect to web. What I'm going to do here is say yes. 
And then an outline editor, it's going to create the outline based on the other search engine results pages that it looks at. So you don't need to worry about creating the outline. I mean, it's as simple as that, but I think it's important, at least in this case, for me to show you this information if you're a brand new SEO writing.ai user or have never seen the tool before. So we'll click run. I've already created a couple of articles already. So one I created with the GPT-5 language model was this Medigap versus Medicare Advantage. That was my keyword. So let's open that one up. And of course, this is a fairly technical article and it needs to be based on 2025 information or as close to it as possible. Since I've been doing a lot of research on this, I can look through this and fact check this pretty well. I think the article itself is really good. And so for this very informational article, I think it's done a really nice job. Only you would know yourself for your niche if GPT-5 is the right language model. I will just tell you that I think from the standpoint of being factual, it's really good. So notice this content score says it's got an 80 out of 100 content score compared to the competitors that it looked at in the search engine results pages. So what I want to do is take this. I'm going to copy it. Now, I use Neuron Writer quite a bit, and I'm not trying to make this into a Neuron Writer video. And I'm not going to explain a whole lot except just to say that I wanted to take a look and see how it scored out in Neuron Writer. Because again, this language model uses what SEO writing calls real-time SERP, right? So it's pulling in all the keywords it thinks it needs to have for optimum on-page uh, SEO capability. So let's see how Neuron Writer scores it out. So we'll drop it in. So it scores out at a 52. We don't have a title, so let's add a title because that does make a big difference. The title definitely makes a difference on on-page SEO scoring. So let's see what it comes up with. That looks pretty good. Save and close. So I like what I'm seeing here. We've got a 72. The highest of all competitors is a 79. And when you look at the total scoring itself, the top 10 search results for this particular keyword that we focused on is a 57. I really like this score. This is a good one. I feel really confident that, you know, this GPT-5 language model is, at least for this particular focus keyword, which was Medigap versus Medicare Advantage, pulled in the right keywords and got us a good score. So let's go ahead, take a look at this other article real quick. Now this one was how to become a minimalist. So I'm going to open that up. Now this is really interesting. It comes out as an 89 out of 100 on content score. So I really like that. And let's just go ahead, take a look at the article. Now this one, how to become a minimalist, you're probably not really as concerned about how factual it is because minimalism is very objective, right? There's different levels of minimalism. There isn't a binary one or zero answer for something like this. So really what I would do is just look through it, read through it, edit it like you would any other AI article, and then add any information from your own personal experience, right? So if this is sort of your niche, if this is the kind of article that you would write in your niche, which is more of a general article or blog post, not something super factual, then you just need to decide whether it makes sense for you. SEO writing has their own proprietary way of scoring out these articles for how well they score compared to competitors, which would mean a higher score, hopefully means you're gonna have a better chance of eventually ranking. Now, of course, ranking factors, there's lots and lots of different ranking factors. I'm trying to write a blog right now in a very competitive niche, and it's been taking me quite a while to get articles to rank because 
the brand competition is so high, but I knew that going in. So, you know, just having a high content score alone doesn't necessarily mean you're going to rank in 24 hours. Let's copy this. Let's see how this scores in Neuron Writer. We're at a score of a 50. So the next thing I'm going to do is add my title because that is a ranking factor. Okay, close it. So that, that took our score to a 65, which is good. We are definitely quite a bit above the average score, and we're only six points away from the 71. So let's go to the last article. Now, this is the one that I just wrote. Should I buy a hybrid or a gas car? I like that image. That's an interesting image. I like it, though. It's very eye-catching. So again, this one is one where you would be concerned about having more factual data and making sure that it was correct. And so, again, GPT-5, they say that's one of the big benefits of this language model is the fact that it writes in a way that is more factual. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to scan it so you can see sort of how it was constructed. Looks good. Again, tables, plenty of tables in here. It's very scannable. It's got a very high content score, which I like. So let's see how this fares over in Neuron Writer. So right off the bat, we're at a 51. And again, we need to have a title. So we'll just generate a title. We're at a 64. The highest of all competitors is a 67. And the, the top 10 that are returned for the search term, should I buy a hybrid or gas car, they're averaging a 51. And we're at a 64. We're just three points off of the 67. It would be very easy for me to go in here and boost this score to a 67 or higher. And then the, the cool thing is, once I add some schema data to make this article easier to find in the search engines, and do a few things like that. You know, I've got a really well-written article. I had my expertise, like I have a hybrid car and I could talk about why I like my hybrid more than I like my gas car, vice versa. So anyway, that's the way that you would go in and edit it. So I just wanna mention that I have a sizable discount off of seowriting.ai. So if you don't have an AI writer or you're thinking about switching from the AI writer that you have to another one, take advantage of my discount. It's 25%. So that is something that you would get when you check out. So make sure, go to my description, use my link. It helps support this channel helps me keep bringing content to you. Tell me what you think about GPT-5. Do you plan to use it when you write articles and blog posts? Let me know in the comments what you think of the quality. So until next time, take care.